Chalk Valley pride themselves on farm to fork when the meat from their Bossington estate gets cooked up straight to the customers. Passionate about ethical farming, the chef manager of Chalk Valley recently got on his bike to do something about it for the charity Compassion in Wild Farming. I did a bike ride, a bike ride from here all the way down to Brussels just to hand in a letter of complaint to the European government asking for correct food labelling of meat products and um, higher welfare standards and stop factory farming. I just feel so strongly about you know, the mistreatment of animals and in the farming industry and I wanted to raise awareness and do something that meant something meaningful. I've been a chef since I left school. Um, I trained to be a chef and then ended up going front of house. Um, I joined Will because here at Talk Valley because it's totally my ethics of what we're doing here and I really want to be a part of it and expand the business and let everybody know. Husband and wife team, owners of Chalk Valley and the Bossington Estate, Sarah Jane explains who they see popping in. So we have from all types of people, so um, young families with parents, we get the students coming in, because uh, obviously we're in a university city, uh, we've got professionals coming in at lunchtime, and then we've got girls nights out in the evening or whatever it happens to be, but it's, it's, it encapsulates everybody, everybody is happy to come here. And it's specifically important, I think, for parents to knowing that their children are eating a healthy diet. Will says that the restaurant are seeing an increase in gluten-free, carb-free and paleo diet choices based on the types of food thought to be eaten by our ancestors. Meat, fish, vegetables and fruit excluding dairy, cereals or processed foods. One of the principal proteins for people who follow the paleo diets is grass-fed beef or lamb or buffalo. Um, and I think that's, you know, down to why Chalk Valley has become so popular among people who follow that diet. And do they follow the diet themselves? I do follow it. Um, well, the health benefits, I think, are quite clear um, in that eating grass-fed meat um, gives you more nutrients. Um, and avoiding carbs, you, you don't feel bloated, uh, which I think is sort of a problem with those kind of foods. But what do they feel is so special about the meat? Back on the farm, Will explains. The benefits of the grass-fed husbandry wow. that we employ at Bossington and for Chalk Valley is it's better for three, three different reasons primarily. It's better for animal welfare because the cattle get the diet they've evolved to eat. It's better for the human nutritional. The nutritional value of the meat is improved considerably. Uh, because the cows have a much better diet and they're allowed to forage in an environment that they like to forage in. And it's better for the environment because cattle out in fields or pastures like those behind me are sequestering carbon uh, into the soil in a way that they increase the organic matter content of the soil. So it's a, it's a three-win situation. The better human nutrition is based on the improved uh, essential fatty acids that are in the meat of the, uh, 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 of the cattle, uh, the better balance of omega-3s to omega-6s, uh, the increase in vitamins A and D, and the beta-carotenes, uh, which they're getting out of the grass itself. So it's better for the cows, better for the humans, and better for the planet. Every month we do specials, and from now on we're doing our side of the month, which is going to be only profits from that. It's going to go straight to Compassion and Wild Farming. The good thing about this restaurant is that it's, you know, everything's totally traceable, so we can tell you the name of the animal that you're eating in your food. Um, all the ingredients are organic, everything's made fresh on site, it's all nutritious, it's all locally sourced. When the chef says the name of the animal, does he mean killing, say, Daisy the cow? Well, yeah, it will be. If, it's, if, if it is Daisy, yes, but we, we know the names. Cheers, Daisy. If it is you, delicious. This is Shan Robbins for Solent News Now.